Hello friends and welcome to another video of the series Practical Hands-on in Physics and Electronics. In this video we will see how to determine Planck's constant using IV characteristics of LEDs. First what is Planck's constant? The German physicist Max Planck introduced it in 1900 in his accurate formulation of the distribution of the radiation emitted by a black body. He introduced Planck's radiation law according to which Radiation is emitted, transmitted and absorbed in discrete energy packets or quanta determined by Planck's constant and the frequency of radiation. The energy E of each quanta or photon is equals to H nu. The value of Planck's constant is 6.626-07015 into 10 raised to the power minus 34. NIST's measurement had an uncertainty in the measurement of Planck's constant as 13 parts per billion using an instrument called cable balance. NIST refers to National Institute of Standards and Technology. Now the significance of Planck's constant, it has been used extensively in quantum physics. Planck body radiation, uncertainty principle, quantization of angular momentum, etc. Recently, it has also been accepted as a constant for the reference of mass measurement by NIST scientists. Now we have to evaluate its value using IV characteristics of LEDs. LEDs are PN junctions made up of suitable materials that emit spontaneous radiation when forward biased. The energy supplied to the LED can be written as a sum of radiative energy and non-radiative energy. Suppose V0 is the minimum voltage required for the emission of light, then we can write EV0 is equals to hc by lambda plus phi. Here h is the Planck's constant, lambda is the wavelength of light emitted, e is electronic charge, c is the speed of light and phi represents the non-radiative losses. Now we will assume that these uh, non-radiative losses are negligible or very small. Then this expression can be rearranged like this v0 equals to hc by a into 1 by lambda. Therefore, we can plot graph between v0 and 1 by lambda for different LEDs and from the slope we can get the value of Planck's constant using this expression h equals to e by c into slope. So next is the setup to evaluate IV characteristics of different LEDs. So what we need is a power supply millimeter, breadboard, resistor, LEDs and a multimeter or voltmeter. So this is a circuit. Here we have a power supply, millimeter, a resistance of 100 ohm and LED all in series. To measure the voltage across the LED, we have to connect a voltmeter or multimeter parallel to the LED. So let's start the experiment. The positive terminal of the power supply is connected to positive terminal of the millimeter. The negative terminal of the millimeter is connected to one end of the resistor. The other end of the resistor is connected to P side of the LED. The N side of the LED is connected to negative terminal of the power supply. So next multimeter needs to be connected in parallel to LED. So the positive terminal of the multimeter is connected to positive terminal of the LED and the negative terminal of the multimeter is connected to negative of the LED or negative of the power supply. So a circuit is complete. So let's switch on the power. Rotate the multimeter knob to 20 volt DC range and slowly increase the power supply to say 0.45 volts. So there is no increase in the value of current. So we will increase the voltage to 1 volt. Still there is no current in the milliameter. And then we have increased the voltage to 1.5 volt. The current in increased to 0 0.5 milliamperes. If we increase the voltage to say 2 volts, the voltage across LED is 1.7 and the current is about 8 milliampere. And at 3 volts, the voltage across the LED is 1.8 volt and the current increases to 22 milliampere. 
and uh, finally if you increase the voltage to say 5 volts the voltage across the LED is 1.85 volts and the current in the milliameter is 30 milliampere. So now we have the IV data of red LED. So let's plot it. The curve looks like this. We can make a tangent to this curve and uh, evaluate the value of turn on voltage. It is 1.65 volts. So we can perform the same experiment with other LEDs also. We have used three different LEDs of green color, yellow color and violet color. Their IV characteristics are like these. These are the values of turn on voltages. 1.85 for yellow LED, 2 volt for green LED and about 2.75 volt for violet LED. So this is the table in which uh, the wavelengths and uh, turn on voltages of different LEDs are tabulated. Now there are two important things to note here. First, optical spectrometers should be used to measure the wavelengths of different LEDs precisely. But if you don't have access to such instruments, then wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum from literature can also be used. Secondly. The turn on voltages that we have shown here are not standard values and might vary even if you have a LED of a particular color from different companies or brands. So you have to experimentally evaluate turn on voltages of the LEDs that are available to you. So we can plot graph between 1 by lambda and turn on voltage. The graph should be linear. The slope of the curve is 1.29 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. So Planck's constant can be evaluated using this formula. H is equals to E by C into slope. So e is the electronic charge, C is the speed of light. Values are given here. If you put all these values E, C and slope in this expression, the experimental value of H is 6.9 into 10 raised to the power minus 34. The theoretical value of Planck's constant is 6.626.07015 into 10 raised to the power minus 34. So error in the measurement is less than 5% which is very good. So I hope you like this video. Kindly share it with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe our channel.